students let us begin now the next chapter heat now observe the pictures which are given down and what are the causes of what you see is happening in the pictures below that you have to write down in the boxes now see the first picture we can see on the gas the milk is kept and the pressure cooker is kept now here the milk boils as well as the whistles of the cooker can be heard now this occurs because of the heat given by the gas now in the second picture you can see the thermometer is being put into the mouth of a person having fever now when the person is having fever means temperature of the body increases or the heat is more heat is produced by the body and that is measured with the help of thermometer now in this case here third case here the ice is kept in a glass and then you can see that the water droplets are seen on the outer surface of the ice uh, 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 outer surface of the glass now why this happens because the water vapor is there in the surrounding air so this water vapor when it comes in contact with the cold surface of the glass it condenses to form water droplets and that water droplets get accumulated on the outer surface of the glass now in this case here you can see the people sitting in around the bonfire now we know that in winter the temperature of the surrounding is very low so this temperature in order to protect from the cold the people lit the bonfire and by taking the heat from the bonfire they can protect themselves from the cold so in this case here you can see the buffalo emerged into uh, emerged into the water lake now in summer when it is very hot the temperature of the body increases and in order to protect from the heat the buffalo goes into the water and to bring down the temperature so we see that in all these five instances here the causes of these things happening in the picture it is because of the heat now next question is here rub your palms against each other and put them on your cheeks what do you feel now this we normally do after the exercise we rub the palms and then we hold them on our cheeks so when we rub the palms due to the friction the temperature of the palm increases and so when we hold it on our cheeks we feel can, we can feel the heat of the cheeks now we come to know that some properties of the heat energy from the examples in the pictures and the above activity now the sun's heat also has many effects and the uses now we know now how does this solar heat it reach the energy now why does the heat in the water heated to boiling slowly decrease once it is taken off from the flame where does this heat go so all these questions here we have to answer one by one now we know that here that the sun's heat has many effect and the uses of sun's heat we know sun's heat it is used to keep the temperature of the atmosphere normal so that the life can exist on the earth plants can survive animals can survive even we can survive now how does this solar and the heat it reach the earth we know that the earth is surrounded by the atmosphere so this atmosphere it is made up of air which has got different gases in it so due to this medium air the solar energy can reach the surface of the earth now the heat in the water heated to the boiling slowly decreases because that heat is transfer of heat takes place from the water to the surrounding air and so the temperature of the water comes down slowly now the moisture in the air cools down due to the ice cubes because that air when it comes 
at uh, air consists of water vapor in it so that water vapor when it comes across the cold surface of the glass as shown here then the temperature of the water vapor comes down and it condenses into water again and though that water droplets get accumulated on the outer surface of the glass now this here this one we can see the thermometer is used to measure the temperature of the substance or thermometer it is also used to find out the fever of a person because we know that the thermometer it consists of if you observe the thermometer carefully it consists of mercury in it so when that bulb of the thermometer it is put into the mouth of the person having fever then that mercury it rises up into the thermometer and we can find out the temperature of the person or the fever of the person now also we know that this changes of the substance state of changes of the substance takes place due to the heat so when the solids are heated it gets converted into liquid and when the liquids are heated it gets converted into the gas so now next we will see how this transfer of heat takes place so in the above activities what we have seen that the transfer of heat takes place from one object to another so here in the first case the in the gas the transfer of heat takes place from the gas to the milk or to the pressure cooker then in the second case here the transfer of heat takes place from the person's body to the thermometer so here how does this transfer of heat takes place in various things that we will be seeing now now we know that here the first question is here can you tell why does the halwai wrap up cloth around the end of his slotted spoon while stirring the boiling milk in his large kadai we know that the salt this one slotted spoon it is made up of metal and metal it is a good conductor of heat and due to constant heating the spoon gets hot and can burn the hand now cloth is a bad conductor of heat and it does not allow to reach to the hand so halwai he wraps up the cloth around the end of his slotted spoon while stirring the boiling milk in a large kadai so that the hand is not burnt now the second question is why do we hold a steel glass in a handkerchief while drinking hot milk from it now steel it is a metal and it is a good conductor of heat now due to hot milk it becomes hot and it is difficult to hold person's hand get burnt due to uh, burnt due to it now cloth is a bad conductor of heat so that it does not allow the heat to reach the hand and the, so the hand does not feel hot so when we take a hot object in the vicinity of the cold one the cold object becomes warm and hot one becomes cooler so from this we can infer that heat is always transferred from a hot body to the cold body now transfer of heat means what it is the flow of heat from one place to another now the next question is use your brain power see there why do we wear woolen clothes in winter now wool during winter the temperature is very low so and wool it is a poor conductor of heat and the woolen clothes do not allow the transfer of body heat so we do not feel cold in woolen clothes and get protected from the cold in winter now next we will see what are the three modes of transfer of heat now the three modes of transfer of heat are conduction convection and radiation now with the first experiment we will see how the conduction of heat takes place now in this experimental setup of this conduction of heat you can see here this one the apparatus being used this apparatus it consists of 
bars of stainless steel aluminium and copper a candle a burner pins etc now here take a stainless steel or the iron rod copper and aluminium bar each about 30 cm long and having the same shape apply wax spots with the help of candle at a distance of 2 cm from each other and all uh, uh, on all the three bars now here see you can see this here in the figure that this burner is also there with the help of which all the three rods they are heated now the three rods which are there are aluminium copper and stainless steel now out of this three here copper it is the good conductor of heat so as soon here when we are heating these three bars the pins starts falling from the end nearer the burner this means that the heat transfer of heat takes place from the hot end of the bar to the cold one so this transfer of heat from hot part of an object to the cold part is called conduction of heat now pins of the copper start falling first because the copper it is the good conductor or it is the best conductor of heat of all the three rods then the pins on the steel bar fall comparatively late and then on the aluminium so depending upon how the object uh, how the metal is of the conductor of heat the metal rods are heated and accordingly the pins fall from the metal rod so out of these three metal rods the pins from the copper rod will fall first then the pins from the then the pins from the steel rod and at last from the pins from the aluminium rod will fall down at the same time the pins they fall from the hotter end to the colder end near so the end which is end of the rods which is near the burner they become hot first <sighs> then next year how does the transfer of heat takes place through the liquid so now the transfer of heat takes place through the liquid by convection so that is the second mode of transfer of heat so here you can see this one this experimental setup it consists of a beaker a potassium permanganate crystals a burner a water etc now take some water in a beaker heat the beaker slowly on a gas burner drop a few crystals of potassium permanganate into the water and now wash the water in the beaker carefully so you see that the stream of water going upwards and coming back to the bottom now due to potassium permanganate these magenta color streams can be identified easily so when heating begins the water near the bottom becomes warm and its density decreases as a result it moves up and is replaced by the cold water coming from above so in this manner heat is transferred by means of currents called convection currents and this process is called as the convection of heat so this convection of heat it can occur in liquid and in gaseous substances so convection also needs a medium now next we will see here this one how the conduction of heat takes place so in this experimental setup we will see a test tube so now here this one the, uh, in this experimental setup we will see the relation between the density and the convection now take a test tube then the piece of ice wire gauge a burner a candle etc now take some water in a test tube wrap a piece of ice in a wire gauge and drop it in the test tube now it will sink into the bottom of the bottom now using a test tube holder 
hold the test tube on a slat as shown in the figure. Heat the upper part of the test tube and stop heating when the water starts boiling. Now observe the piece of ice at the bottom. The heat does not reach the bottom even though the upper part is heated. So why does this happen? Because density of the water decreases due to heating and therefore it cannot sink and the process of convection does not occur. So light a candle and stand it upright. Hold your hands on two sides at some distance from the candle. Bring them closer. So we see that the hands have become hot. Warmed yourself near the bonfire. So we do this warming ourselves near the bonfire in winter. Now the sun is millions of kilometers away from us. There is no air between the sun and the earth and the earth's atmosphere is only a thin layer of air close to the earth. Then how does the heat of the sun reach us? Now this heat is transferred in the absence of any medium. So the transfer of heat that takes place in this way without a medium is called as radiation. So here this transfer of heat from the bonfire to the hands is by radiation. And also the transfer of radiation heat from the sun to the surface of the earth it is also by radiation. Now let us see this wonder of the science. Now radiation of heat takes place from many objects in nature such as trees, mountains, stones and roads. A camera has been developed which uses this radiations to make our surroundings visible at night. So this is called as the infrared camera. Now using this camera it is possible to keep a watch on the movement of the enemy during night. So when the heat rays fall on an object the part of heat is absorbed by the object and part of it is reflected. So this ability of the substance to absorb heat radiation depends on its color and its intrinsic properties. Now remaining we will continue next time. So I hope it's all clear to all of you.